Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliche. In today's video, I did a natural pool day makeup tutorial. It's kind of like a natural makeup tutorial slash like beach day makeup, I guess. Yeah, so when you wanna look like naturally snatched, but not like overly done, where people are like, why is she wearing makeup to the pool? You know, like this is just like, oh, she just looks really good, you know? But yeah, if you guys wanna see this look, it was super easy. And I also give you a few like tips and tricks for skincare before you go to the pool. And yeah, a few new products I'm trying out as well. So if you guys wanna hear a little bit about how I got this makeup tutorial and a little bit about those products, then keep watching. All right guys, so to start off, I'm actually gonna go in with some sunscreen since I'm gonna be by the pool. So this is, I just found this last night. This is by Coppertone. This is the Glow with Shimmer. And this is SPF 30. So this says it's free of parabens, paba, blah, 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 and uh, oxybenzone. This is what it looks like. I just thought this was such a great idea because you guys know that, well, I don't know if you know or not, but there's a moisturizing lotion by Jergens that has shimmer in it. And I actually bought that for this trip. We're in Vegas, by the way, but um, I bought that for this trip for when we go out at night so that like, I don't know, I would have like an overall glow. It just gives you a really healthy glow look to it. And especially like when you have a tan, it just like radiates off of it. But I actually, it was too big for my suitcase. And I was like, ah, whatever. Like I'll just get something when I get down there. And then I came across this and I was like, this is literally perfect. Because it has sunscreen in it. It's just like, oh, such a great idea but I'm just putting this all over. I'm trying not to get this on my mic now. Ugh. I just put way too much on my face. I'm not sure if all the shimmer is gonna make me break out or not, but we're gonna find out. But normally when I go down to the pool, I do start with a sunscreen just so that it's like the base of my makeup. Even though I'm gonna be wearing foundation on top of it, normally you don't get like too burnt when you're wearing like a Koda foundation because it's kind of blocking your skin a little bit. But I always like to use sunscreen. Just as like an extra protectant. I like that glow though, look at that. It's, you can see it on my chest. <laughs> Ooh, I just love that, it's so sparkly. So I started out with a moisturizer before this, like probably about a half an hour ago so that I got to like sink into my skin. Because here in Vegas and like California, I mean, you guys are, some of you might already be from here, but I'm from Pennsylvania where it's like super humid. So my skin doesn't really dry out that much. I have more oily skin, but here it gets so dry, it's crazy. So I just make sure that I exfoliate my face a lot here. And especially before the pool, you wanna make sure that you have really exfoliated skin so that like all of the flaky skin is off and you can get like freshly like tan skin, right? But anyway, I don't know if I, did I show you guys this trick already? But I use the emergency packets. I always take these with me. And these are just perfect for like, just a scrub. Like, I mean, I don't know like the logistics behind it, if it's really like good for your skin or not. I don't know, but it has vitamin C in it. So I figure, why not? It has vitamin C, D and B and electrolytes. So my skin's gonna be so healthy. But yeah, I just use it as like a quick exfoliant because it just comes in the packets and you can just throw it away. So I make sure that my skin's polished with that and I go in with a moisturizer and this one I actually picked up last night and I loved it. So this is an overnight mask. So this is by Burt's Bees and it's a hydrating overnight mask. So I used this guy last night after I exfoliated my face. And then this morning I put on Belief and this is the True Cream Aqua Bomb. This stuff is great. I You can even use this as like a primer too. It works really well. Um, but yeah, that like hydrates really, really well and gives your face like a nice plump to it. Okay, I just rambled on for like five minutes about skincare. Okay, so I am gonna go in with a primer just in case this winds up, like, cause this isn't like a primer, the sunscreen. So I don't know how well my makeup's gonna go right on top of it. It might like move around. So I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Prep and this is in the HD Moisture Nourishing Face Primer. And I love this one. I've been using it ever since I got a PR kit from them about like a month ago. I just really love it. It doesn't say that it's mattifying, but 
I find that it keeps the oil out throughout the day. Let me know what your makeup routine is for the pool because I don't know if I go like extreme, like you guys know I wear like a decent amount of makeup on a daily basis. So this is like nothing for me, but I do wear foundation to the pool. I guess it depends on whether I wanna get like super, super tan. Sometimes I'll do like a, like a BB cream or something instead of like a full on like foundation. But I don't know, when I'm away on vacation, I like like to look like as flawless as possible, you know? When you're around your family and stuff, like who cares, you know, wear the BB cream and kind of look like shit, <laughs> but we're away, so. All right, so now for foundation, I'm going in, I'm gonna mix two different ones. So I'm gonna mix LA Girls Pro Matte HD Foundation, and this is in the shade Natural. And I'm gonna mix it with the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And this is in the shade M40. So this is like a darker color, and this is more of like my lighter shade. So I'm gonna mix them to get the perfect shade. So I'll do like two pumps of the Natural Guy from LA Girl, and then I'll just do one pump of the CoverGirl, one in the darker shade. So you guys know that I like to use my hands when applying my foundation. So I just tap this in. And this is great for when you go on vacation too, because you don't need many like tools or brushes or anything. Just gonna take the excess and run down my neck here. But we're staying at the Wynn, and this is just like the most beautiful view I think I've ever had at a hotel before. Oh, this hotel just in general is so, it's just like really like bougie. I don't know, I just, oh, it's just so, I don't even know how to explain it. I mean, we don't go away on vacations often, and especially like, I don't know, like places like this. Like Vegas, we wouldn't have chose to go like on our own, but we've actually had to go on two different work trips for my boyfriend, because he has um, business meetings in here, in here, um, over here. So the last time we were here was two years ago, and we stayed at the MGM. But this hotel is so much nicer, like I just can't even explain to you guys. Well, if you follow me over on Instagram, you'll have like seen all the snaps because I've been trying to do a lot of stories on like everything here. It's just very modern and they had, it's like very much my art style. It's a lot of pop art too. Like they had a big blow up, um, not blow up. It was almost like a, it was a sculpture of Popeye, but it almost looked like a balloon animal. It was like so crazy. I don't, and it was like rose gold. It just really neat. And they had like some balloon animal kind of like sculptures around here too. And I was like, this is so cool. And they had like a horse carousel made out of flowers. It's just really like theatrical. I think because of the sunscreen, this just isn't drying down. It's looking so oily. So I am gonna set it. I typically wouldn't set to go to the pool, um, but I'm going to anyway. Actually, that's a lie. I feel like I do set. Now I like, I'm forgetting like my whole routine. I feel like it changes so often. But this is the Ben Nye Colors Luxury Powder. I love this one. This one's really good in the banana shade too. And also I get it in, I think it's called Pink Petal. It's like the light pink one. I'm just gonna go over and mattify this. The pool here is just amazing. I'll insert some clips too throughout this video just to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. But it's awesome and it's not like real showy which makes me feel really good because I was nervous. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just, I don't know. I don't like being like on display and I was scared that it was gonna be something that was kind of like, I don't know. When you go to the pool, like everyone kind of feels like they're like watching you get into the pool. Like it's not like that, it's very relaxed. I don't even know if that made any sense. But these are the weird thoughts that go through my mind. Right now that that's set, I'm gonna go in with like a light contour. I'm not gonna go crazy with this just in case I wind up going into the pool. Cause when you come out of the pool and you're wearing like a contour, it just like smears everywhere and you wind up looking crazy and it just gets all patchy and it's like, you'll have like a dark spot here out of nowhere and it's like, nope. So I'm going in with the Cover FX palette. This is the Perfector Face Palette. And I'm going in with the shade, I believe it's Silhouette. Yep, Silhouette for contour, which is this guy here. All right, and then I'm just going in with my small stipple brush. This is the e.l.f. one that I always use. And like I said, I'm just gonna do like a light contour. So I'm just gonna tap this on. 
the area where I normally chisel it out. The thing that I am noticing though about that shimmer suntan lotion is I don't think that I'll do it on my face again. I mean, for obvious reasons besides the fact that you guys see that my makeup was like sliding all over the place and takes forever to set. But I have acne scarring and I feel like it's, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I feel like it's almost highlighting all of those scars, which makes sense. They always say not to use highlighter on areas like that where you have like in like, um, like deeper scars because it kind of gets in there and like illuminates them. But I thought with like a sunscreen if I was going to be putting something on top of it that I wouldn't do that, but it's kind of doing that. Just to give you a heads up. So I'll probably, like I'll definitely still be using that suntan lotion, but I'll be using it just on my body. Right, then I'm just going to warm up my eyes with that same shadow. So don't really do like an eyeshadow either for when I'm going to the pool. I just kind of want it to look like an overall glow. Kind of like I just woke up like this, but you still look really good. And then for my nose, like I said, I'm gonna do a light contour on here as well. So I don't even know if I'm gonna do any, I think I'm just gonna focus kind of on the tip here. Just the tip. So I'm gonna take this little Luxie brush. This is the mini angled brush. Just this little guy, it's nice and thin. I've been loving using this on my nose recently. But I'm just gonna contour like the tip of my nose here. So I just like to shade away the sides of my nose, like the nostrils right here. And then for the tip, I just like to, I like to go a little higher, like right here, and then underneath. So I almost do like a triangle. This just slightly makes your nose look like a little button nose, like it's slightly turned up and not like too turned up, like not like Miss Piggy, but like snatched. And to give just an overall glow, I like to go in with a bronzer. So I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder as a bronzer, and this is in the shade Toffee. So this guy, that's what the top looks like, and this is the color. It's like that really beautiful bronze. And I love matte bronzers, so I don't like the shimmer in there. Like I said, because I have some scarring, so I don't like anything that shimmers, like I just like a nice matte powder. Taking this fluffy brush. Kind of just getting all over in there. Oh my God, guys, I can't wait to go down to breakfast. They have this amazing Eggs Benedict. So we got here probably around, I think it was around one o'clock this time here. So they were still serving breakfast. So they had like a breakfast and lunch menu. So we got chicken and waffles and we got Eggs Benedict. And this was the best Eggs Benedict I've ever had in my life. So they had a, it was like a crab, they had like a crab ball on top of the Eggs Benedict and then the other with like the hollandaise sauce and then they also had one with like avocado and it was like spicy, something else and then they had just like a standard um, Eggs Benedict. Oh my God, it was just the best I've ever had. I think I'm gonna get that again. And today it's just me because Ruben's in meetings all day today. So I have like my full on plan, so I'm doing this video. Then I get to head down and eat, thank God. And then I'm gonna lay out, get a nice tan, cause tonight there's a party for, not a party, but it's just like, like the big dinner for, it's almost like, cause this is like the last real day for the meetings, I guess. But tonight's dinner, I'm really looking forward to, cause it's like, it's almost like a mixer, I guess is what you say, is how you say it, I don't know. But it's like a cocktail hour, an hour. But I love going to these events with Ruben because he's one of the youngest managers and it's just like, I feel like we're like the it couple, you know what I mean? Like we're just like the power couple. So I like to look really good for these, these. But yeah, so my plan is to be nice and tanned and glowing and have my makeup all done. So yeah, I definitely wanna sit by the pool, get my tan on. So for brows, I'm gonna go in with my typical powder. So this is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo, and this is in the shade Ebony. So I think I'm gonna go in with that lighter shade there and just gently fill them in. So I don't wanna go crazy with this one either because brows are a tough thing if you go in the pool as well because it gets like everywhere. So I just do kind of like a light layer just to shape them a little bit. Make them look like I got something going on, you know? So I pretty much just fill in this divot here. 
just to give them a little bit more body. Then I'm just gonna set those real quick. So if you guys have been following me for a little bit, you know that I just use hairspray for this. So I just fill this guy up with hairspray. This is an old um, model in a bottle brow setter. But yeah, I just use like a strong hold hairspray to refill that with. All right, now for lashes, I'm gonna go in with an eyelash curler. Just pump these guys a few times. And I'm going in with, this is a Scandalize by Rimmel London and this is in waterproof. I always make sure that I do a waterproof, especially when I'm in really hot conditions, just so that it doesn't run at all. But yeah, if I wind up going in the pool, I like to just make sure that this is gonna stay put. So I don't layer it on a whole lot. I just kind of do a light layer just to show that you have some eyelashes. When you start like putting on a lot of this, it doesn't come off. It's already really hard to get off as it is. So I don't go too crazy with this stuff. Okay, now to just give like an overall glow, not an overall glow, but I'm going in with the brightener and this is from that um, Cover FX palette. So I'm using the highlighter that's in here and this is a really good one. Just dipping that in, getting the high points in my cheeks here. And just to top it off, I'm gonna go in with this lip gloss. This is by Revlon and this is in the shade Sky Pink. So this used to be my favorite one. I just recently went back to it. So I always wind up switching it up and then I just can't get enough of this. I always go back. All right guys, and here's the finished look. I'm probably just gonna wear this headband down there or I'll like just put my hair back in like a ponytail for like tanning and things like that. But yeah, let me know what your routine is for going to the pool. Do you think this is excessive? Do you just put on like a BB cream or do you do more of a full coverage than I do? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope that you guys like this. I'm gonna try to do, like we've been filming along the way, so I'm gonna try to pull out like a vlog if I have enough footage, so hopefully I do. But yeah, I hope that you guys like this simple makeup tutorial and I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.